Hey everybody, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to add the new perk system into the multiplayer zombie survival template, which is my other product. So we're going to be combining these two products together. It's really easy to do, and it's set up to make it as easy as possible for you. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go into HTT and just open up Arena 1 just for testing. Alright, here we are. Brand new level. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and open up the character which is under characters base character third person character okay and then I'm gonna move over here to the left hand side where we got some space and then let's go ahead and add the perk component to this third person character so we'll go to add perk component there's the component and let's also go to its class settings and under interfaces we want to add the perk interface. There we go. Compile and save. And then we're going to go into our uh, perk system folder. And under demo assets, third person BP blueprints, there is a perk demo character. Going to open that up. And this is where all the instructions on how to use the perk system and install it is. But I'm just going to show it to you now. So basically we need step one. We need this event. So I'm going to just copy this. And we also need step two. I'm going to copy that. And we'll get to step three in a second. So I'm going to control C to copy. Come over to the third person character inside of the event graph. And control V to paste. And then we have to refresh some of these nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one. This is all of our logic here for all of the perks. I'm going to highlight all of it. And then I'm going to right click and refresh nodes. And then I'm going to go back to the event graph. And then go into the step ones thing here. Open it. Highlight all the nodes. Right click them. Refresh. Then I'm going to compile. Save and everything is good. So now we have all the logic for the perks but we're missing a few minor things which I put in the perk demo character on step 3. Step 3 I write it all out here but basically if you want some of the perks to work then we're gonna have to copy and paste a few things. So this one for example uh, at the end of the event any damage we need to copy this uh, section here in blue and paste it in and connect it up. So I'm going to copy the section in blue here, go to the third person character, and then over here where it says player health and death under event any damage, I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the end, and this little section in between disable movement and cast the gameplay game mode, I'm going to disconnect the gameplay game mode, and I'm going to move it down to here, then I'm going to paste in what we just uh, copied, and then I'm going to connect up Disable Movement into this new code, which is the branch here. And then I'm going to connect the Gameplay Game Mode into the Remove All Perks, like that. So that will give us that section. We'll compile, save. And then we're going to go back and see what the next one was. The next one, it says, to do Fast Shooting Perk, open the set active weapons and add this this node here. So the check for fast shooting perk, I'm going to copy that node. I'm going to go back to third person and in the functions there's a set active weapon variables here. I'm going to open that. And at the tippity top there is a current weapon fire delay which is what it told me to find, current weapon fire delay. Right after that I paste this in. I connect it up like this and then make sure you connect the end back down to the current weapon burst delay. Alright, compile and save. And then the, what was the next one here? We have to connect these two nodes into the reload animations. This is for speed reload, so we'll copy that. Go to third person, back into the event graph. And down here in red there's a section for reloading commented right there it says reloading and at the bottom 
There's an event for multicast play reload animation and sound. I'm going to paste what we copied into here. And then I'm going to connect the reload speed into the play rate. And I'm going to con connect this one into the play rate. And we're just going to keep connecting them into all of the different play rates here. So let's keep going. We'll connect it into this play rate. And then we're going to connect it into this play rate. And then we need to copy these two nodes again and paste them right here underneath this uh, check. If I zoom out, it's about halfway through the middle of this um, section. There is a, a check, a selector node for is in first person. We connect this into the divide by two. Instead of divide by two, we divide by the reload speed. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is there is a delay here that is the current weapon reload time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold left control and then click and move this into there because we don't really need this um, or want this uh, check because what this is is it it lets you manually set the reload time in the weapons data table, but instead we're going to use the actual animations time for our reload time. So the reload time is the animation speed basically. All right, so now that we got that, we're good. Let's see what the next section was. Over here, solo revive progress bar. This is not required, but if you want the solo revive when you die and you revive your in the perk revives yourself, there's a progress bar that can be displayed basically copy and paste this in there. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this code, copy, and where does it tell me to put this? Paste it into the solo revive event, okay? Solo revive is inside of the step two's perk logic, so we open that up, and right here it says solo revive for the owning client. Um, we come down here to the faults, we paste this here, and as you can see we have a few little hiccups because there's a difference here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the player controller and node, my player controller, and I'm going to recreate these nodes. So I'm going to drag off and say get HUD widget reference, boom, and then I'm going to drag off of that and I'm going to get reviving text and also get the revive progress bar if I can spell it right get revive progress bar alright and now we have these which are the right ones we're gonna get we're just gonna hold left control to move the reviving text to this text hold left control move the progress bar to this progress bar and then delete these three wrong ones so now we have these, which are right. I'm going to go ahead and copy those because we're going to need them in a second. Let's go ahead and connect up the set solo revive counter to the set visibility. And let's see, I'm, I'm going to copy these, this visibility and the percent. Copy and then paste them here and we're going to disconnect off of the true, move these two at the end, and then move these, this section that we just pasted into here. So the true will go into this newly pasted in set visibility, and then the set percentage will go into these two nodes that we moved over to here. And there you go. Now we'll have a, all it does is just show you the revive progress bar when you're being revived by yourself. All right, we got that. Now the next one, what do we have? That's it for all the perks. Now we need the actual perk widget that shows you the perks on your screen. So if you go to HGT, widgets, and HUD, there's a player HUD widget. Open that up. You could drag, you go up to the top left side, type in perk widget, and you can drag this anywhere you want and it will display the perks. Um, what you might want to do is just put it in some kind of one of the existing containers if you want. 
but I'm just gonna put it right next to the wave number there maybe something like that compile save and then when we go into the game let's make sure it's set to one player and we we can play but I need to add some perks in here to show you how they all work so let's go to our perk system and perk pickups and we'll do a give perk let me just spin these around like this. And then I'm just going to set each perk. We got health perk, revive perk, fast shooting perk, speed boost perk, um, speed reload, and extra weapon. Okay, we save all those and we hop into the game. Uh, that's a demo character that I made earlier for a different video. It doesn't matter. All right. So now we're in the game. And as you can see, my health is 100. But when I touch this, my health goes to 250. Um, revive perk just gives me the ability to revive. Fast shooting. Let me show you. I'm going to grab a gun real quick and show you the difference between. Normal shooting is this. And I get the fast shooting perk, and it's like this. So it's double the speed, and you can adjust that in the perk component. Uh, speed boost, you can see I have a stamina bar, and it runs out, and I, then I have to regen my stamina. If I grab speed boost, my stamina is always 100, and I can run really fast. And I also uh, walk around a little faster, too. And then reload, you can see I shoot and I reload. But if I get the speed reload perk, then I can shoot and reload and double the speed. And then the last one here, we have extra weapon perk. So right now I can only hold two weapons. So you'll see if I come over here and if I buy the laser gun, it took my starting rifle switched it out with that so now I have LMG laser gun LMG laser gun my starting rifle's gone but if I get the extra <laughs> weapon perk, now I can pick up a third weapon such as AK-47 so now I have AK-47 LMG and laser gun and I'll just show you how I find out all the and I just revived myself and uh, it looks like the revive is stuck on the screen. I'm going to look at that. I must have did something wrong. But you can see I still have the revive perk. And all my other perks are gone. You can come back and you can get other perks. But if you die again, you can set up the time to be able to that was my last time, so after three uses, I'm alive again. But I lost my revive perk and all my other perks. So, that shows you all the perks work. Let me just go in and look at the third person character. Must have been where we did this uh, logic here. I must have plugged it in. Yeah, this uh, um, the logic that I pasted in the revive myself. This is supposed to be set to uh, hidden. So the revive progress will be hidden. And I'll compile and save. And now just for the sake of showing you that it works. Grab the revive perk. And then I come over here and kill myself. And I revive myself. And the revive is gone off my screen. So that's how you can easily put all the perks into the multiplayer zombie survival template. And it works. And if you want to change any of the perk information, you can go into the perk system, the perk component itself, and there are all the variables are set over here. So like the health variable, it's called perk health. It sets your health to 250. You could change that to 500 if you want more health. Same with the speed. You can change the perk run speeds sprint speeds so if you want to run faster with this perk you can change those uh, extra weapon perk speed perk they all work the same you can change all the variables 
this if you change it in the perk component it changes it for every actor that's using the perk component if you only want it changed for your specific character such as just this third person character you could click on the perk component and come over here and change the variables right here in the actual details section so that pretty much sums up the video I hope you enjoy the new perk system and if you have the zombie template as well I hope you enjoy that thanks for watching um, if you need more details on how to add more perks or edit the perks such as uh, you want to add a new perk or something I have another video a shorter video that explains all of that basically it's all done in the data table and the perk enum you just open them up add what you need so thanks for watching uh, see you.